and here is a shag class. Today we're going to learn some of the steps that you might have seen on a clip called the Venice Beach Clip. It was shot in 1938. It was promotional footage for a big, big uh, competition they were having in California and the steps were danced by Connie Wydell and his partner Barbara Pum. So if you're ready, put on your dancing shoes or just dance around in your socks and let's get started. The first step we're going to learn is the shag basic and the rhythm is a step hop, step hop, quick, quick. Six count rhythm. Dee da, dee da, dee da. Shall we turn around and show you how it's done? Leader start on the left. Followers on the right. And the basic feeling for it is a step and a hop, step and a hop and a quick, quick. So should we do that four times? Let's do it. Five, six, seven, and one, two, three, four, five, six, step, hop, step, hop, run, run, step, hop, step, hop, run, run, last one, two, down. Now, when we're in a typical classic shag position, we're quite close. I've got my arm wrapped around my partner. And I come in to match. I bring the hand up as high as it will comfortably go for my partner. Or the, the shortest dancer. Exactly. And you'll notice I can't really bring my knee forward because we're very close. So that's why I'm taking my knee out to the side. So here, I'm going to lift up the knee out to the side, possibly even adding a little kick, lift me up to the side and a quick, quick. So when we do that, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six. Now Barbara is doing a slightly different styling with her kicks. She still can't take her knees forward, but she keeps her knees together and she's kicking her heels backwards. So it's a step, hop, step, hop, run, run. Shall we do four of these? Four of these. It's interchangeable. It's not a lead and follow thing. Just ch choice of styling. Five, six, seven, eight. Step, hop, step, hop, run, run. Step, hop, step, hop, run, run. Step, hop, step, hop, last one. Step, hop, step, hop, run, run. Don't we have a screen floor? You also notice we do a deep. Uh, I'm going to oil my legs in a minute. You also <laughs> notice that our hops aren't going up in the air. We're keeping them down so that we don't get too out of breath. If we start doing this, it's going to be very tiring. So it's really down into the floor. Yeah, I think bounce rather than hop. Now, take into account the basic position. We're very rarely going to stay on the spot. That was really just when you were learning or for beginners. Uh, the Serious shag dancer would be traveling either around the ballroom or in a circle, which is what we're going to do right now. So as I rotate in my basic, if I stop and let my right arm open up, we're actually going to open up to the sides. I'm going to roll my partner out. So if I do that with four basics, one, two, three, I'll finish the fourth, last one, we open up to the side. And then we go into our fancy steps. Mm -hmm. so the fancy step is an opening step, which becomes an eight count step in this case. Mm -hmm. We take two of our step hops. We go step, hop, step, hop. But from here, we tap the outside foot down and we pick it up. That's our five, six. And then we kick it, kick down, seven, eight. Let me say that once more. We go step, hop, step. Hop, tap, up, kick, down. Inside, they can see the From kicks. Side, five, six, seven, and step. Hop, step, hop, tap, up, kick, down. Then you count it once. A five, six, seven, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. But Simon said this happens as he's opening up, and that's why we separate and go into open position. 
There is no pushing and pulling your partner in this dance. You're just uh, relying on the momentum and your partner opens up. Which makes it a very lead and followable dance. Follow, followable dance. <laughs> Five, six, seven. Step, step, one, run, run, two. Here we go. Step, step, attack and kick down. We're now going to go into three sets of double kicks, all going forward. So it's going to be double kick on the inside, double kick on the outside, a double kick on the inside. Now those double kicks, we're going to style them by being quite close shoulder to shoulder. We can be quite close with the hip as we open up, so we're cheek to cheek, and we're going to kick off to the angle, a double kick. As I put the foot down, I'm going to come in close to my partner. Distance in the hips, but close with the shoulders. A double kick. But notice if we turn around, that our kicks don't cross the line, so we're not going to kick our partner. And then we open up again for a third double kick. Should we put those three together? Mm -hmm. A five, six, seven, eight. Double kick, double kick, a double kick. Hard to get the bounce when you're going slow, but when you go faster, that's when you got the bounce. Okay. Okay, should we add on the third step, the final yeah. step? So we keep kicking, but instead of going double in the same direction, we're going to go forward, back, forward, down, forward, back, forward, down. So from here we go forward, back, Forward, switch, forward, back, forward, switch. Let's do that again. Five, six, seven, and one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, and one, two, three, four. Okay, let's put those two sets of fancy kicks together. So we've got our three double kicks, and then the forward, back, forward, forward, back, forward. Five, six, here we go. Double kick, double kick, double kick, forward. Back, forward, a forward, a back, freeze. From the rotation of the basic, we'll just do one basic, open up on the second one into our new kick variations. That's a plan stand. A five, six, seven, and basic. Opening, one, two, three, four, tap, up, kick, down, double, a double, a double. Now forward, back, forward, down, forward, Back, forward. To finish up, we're just going to do four single kicks, usually traveling, and then we're going to close with our partner. So let's do them from the side. So there's four kicks. Here's the last one going forward. Forward and kick, 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 kick down. And then, leaders, you're going to scoop in front of your partner. You're going to scoop your partner up as we go. Step, step, around, run. Okay, this way. Four kicks, we go. And one, two, three, four, and step, step, around, run, step, step, around, run. And by cutting in front of your partner's leaders, you're starting that rotation again. This is a very leadable dance. So even if your partner hasn't done it before, because we're in this close grip, you're really placing your partner's weight on one foot, the other foot, you're using the rotation to turn, and then you're closing. Now, one thing we haven't mentioned, a little tip about those double kicks. If I've got a nice frame with my right arm pressing against my partner's back, as we do those double kicks forward, if I ask Anna to step back, why is it not happening? Well, I have no space, you're stopping me from it. There's a block here. But as soon as I slightly release my right arm, there's the kick back. Hence, we can go a double kick. So that is led from the feeling of the right arm. So try it a few times until you can pick up the feeling. Now, if you haven't got a partner, practice the footwork, get comfortable with that, and then when you've got a partner, that's the only thing you need to focus on, because you've got all the footwork. Yowza! Should we do it once on our own, and then once with a partner? Sounds good. Four basics. And on the fifth basic, we're going to do our open up. But we're not going to turn, we're going to stay front. A five, six, seven, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Two, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Three, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Here it comes. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Doubles, 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 singles. 
Now four. One, two, three, exit. Excellent. With a partner. Five, six, five, six, seven, and basic. some classic steps from 1938 of the shag, sometimes known as the collegiate shag. If you enjoyed the video, which we hope very much, please give us a thumbs up below the video, hit the subscribe button and share this clip with everyone you want to dance with.